A few weeks ago, we received a comment on a video we did earlier this year on lactate threshold asking how to remove lactic acid from the body after a hard workout. I responded saying lactic acid is removed almost immediately as soon as you start slowing down. The commenter responded with a link to a TikTok post that told him that his muscle soreness between workouts was related to lactic acid being in his muscles. I noticed the video had a few thousand views, so I knew this was a prevailing idea to many runners. So today we're going to debunk some of the faulty science about lactate that still permeates training theory. You'll learn exactly what is causing your muscle soreness, why understanding this will help you train smarter and get res faster results, get in depth on how specific type of threshold workouts and called lactate clearance can help you improve as a runner and show you some specific workout examples you can implement in your training right away. My name is Andy Cazzarelli and I am one of the coaches here at Runners Connect. Our goal is to help you train smarter and stay healthy with researched back information and training plans. Personally, I'm a 238 marathoner and former NC State 10K All-American. Lactic acid is a term I have heard thrown around quite a bit in my years as a runner, so let's get into it. Lactate, or lactic acid as it is commonly known, gets a bad rap thanks to some faulty science from the 1970s. While an excess accumulation of lactate contributes to why runners slow down at the end of races, lactic acid itself isn't responsible for the muscle fatigue that causes you to do skeleton dance at the end of a race. In fact, lactate is actually a source of energy. Hydrogen ions are the real culprit. The cause of your muscle fatigue is actually the result of a buildup of hydrogen ions. Here's how it works. For each lactate molecule produced by the body, one hydrogen ion is also formed. Hydrogen ions lower the blood pH and make the muscles acidic. This acidity irritates muscle nerve endings and causes that pain, heaviness, and burning mistakenly attributed to lactic acid. Now let's talk about how lactate really works. As you probably already know, your body breaks down glucose for energy and a byproduct of this process is lactate. During easy running, your body reconverts and recycles this lactate back into energy through the Cori cycle and carries away hydrogen ions with it. Therefore, the production of lactate and the clearance of hydrogen will remain relatively constant while running at an easy aerobic pace, which doesn't require a huge demand for energy. As you continue to run faster and demand more energy, the production of lactic acid will slowly increase. At some point, whether it be too fast a pace or holding a steady pace for too long, the production of lactic acid will soar and your body will no longer be able to convert lactate back into energy. At this point, Lactate can't grab its hydrogen ion to reduce the concentration of hydrogen in the muscle cell. And as we learned previously, hydrogen is what causes the muscles to seize up. So now that we understand how lactate really works in the body and have discovered the true culprit of our muscle fatigue, how does that change our approach to training? Well, a lot of recent research indicates that the goal of endurance training shouldn't be to reduce the production of lactic acid, but to improve the ability to clear lactate from the blood. Simply speaking, we shift the idea of increasing our tolerance for lactic production to the idea of increasing how efficiently our body utilizes lactate as an energy source. The faster we can train our body to reconvert lactate back into energy in the liver, the longer and faster we can run at a given pace. Therefore, the goal of your lactate threshold training shouldn't be on how to reduce lactic acid production, but train your body to use it efficiently. While this shift in thinking is slight, it radically changes how you approach your lactate threshold workouts. So the million dollar question is, how do we do this in training? Of course, traditional tempo runs, tempo intervals, and cruise intervals will help increase your body's ability to clear or reconvert lactate. However, you can implement special lactate clearance workouts into your training to more specifically target this niche of your training. My favorite lactate clearance workout is what I call the lactate clearance tempo. The purpose of this lactate clearance tempo is to spike lactic acid production by starting with faster miles and then train your body to efficiently process the lactate while still running at a reasonable pace or current marathon pace. This will help you to make more efficient at reconverting lactate to energy on race day. The lactate clearance workout is great tempo effort for runners training for the 5k or 10k. It allows you to run at near goal pace for part of the workout and still get the benefit of a threshold run. The objective is to run the first mile 
or two of a tempo run at about current 10K fitness pace, and then back off the last mile or two miles at current half marathon or marathon fitness pace. Here's how that workout might look for a 3.30 marathoner. Two mile warm up, two by three miles, first two miles at 7.20 pace, then the last mile at 7.50 pace with three minutes rest and a one mile cool down. To increase the total length of the workout, you can break the tempo into two or three to four mile sessions. This will allow you to keep your volume high without going overboard with the workout. Some other notes about executing this workout. This workout serves as a good practice for those runners who can't control their pace early in a race. This will help you recover if you go out too fast. Doing more than four miles in one set is difficult. We keep the sets to three or four miles. Remember, the slow mile is designed to teach your body how to become efficient at processing lactate. Running faster just because you can reduces the effectiveness. Faster is not always better. Try these workouts out yourself this training cycle and let us know in the comments how you liked them. I guarantee it will be a great training stimulus and a neat way to feel lactate clearing.